welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brennan Williams Real Estate Show. I'm Shannon Deskins along with Jennifer Brown Day. And Jennifer, have you noticed the leaves are starting to change? I mean, fall is here. It's here. It's gotten a little cold quick, but it is here and it looks beautiful outside. Speaking of beautiful, <laughs> you know, it seems like now it's the Saturday or the Sunday drive when you want to get out and look at the leaves. But if you've got your house listed, it's a good time to make your house just as pretty as the landscape. Absolutely. This is the perfect time to kind of prepare for the winter, prepare the outside of your house for winter. So this is a great time to go ahead and trim the bushes and get the grass kind of that final cut before you get to winter and clean out all the flower beds and just make it look as neat as possible before the winter months roll around. Whether it's listed or not, it's just a good thing to do. Oh, absolutely. Okay. If it's listed, definitely. It's even better. <laughs> well, hopefully everyone that we're talking about today has a beautiful landscape yard. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, the first one actually we'll talk about this is different than anything we've ever done before. This mm -hmm. is actually 200 acres in a mobile home park. Yes, this is an income producing property and is located actually in Sagersville area. So this is a little bit outside of Pikeville. I know the last couple weeks we focused a little bit on Pike County, mm -hmm. but this one is in the Sagersville area. All right, and as we said, it's an operating mobile home park. Mm -hmm. So before I ever look at the pictures, to me, that lets me know, hey, I may be able to pay my mortgage exactly. with the income that I'm going to get by you know, leasing the spaces in the mobile Exactly. Homes. And there's a lot that's included with this besides the mobile home park. So you have the income producing part. You actually have a rental house. You've got a house that's considered kind of the owner's house on the property. Like we said, you've got 200 acres. You've got two barns. And then you also have your mineral rights included, which is not very common in eastern Kentucky and uh, it's got an operating gas well also on the property. And I see a big thing on my notes here, it says price reduced. Yes, this one has been reduced. It's been reduced down to 375 for all of that included on the 200 acres. So McGoffin County, and it's not far outside of Sayersville either. It's not. It's uh, outside of the city limits, but it's right there on Mash Fork in that area. All right. So, and I see too, even though you're outside the city limits of Sayersville, mm -hmm. it says city water and sewer. Yes, which is huge when you're doing something like a mobile home park because that means you don't have to have a private community sewage system that you are maintaining. So that's a very big deal with this one. So this is good for the person that would want to own it. Because Absolutely. Your work already has been reduced because of the city water and the city sewage. And then, you know, if you do the numbers, you come and you talk to somebody you may be able to get close to making your mortgage back and does that do you find that very often that you could buy you, a property and say hey this is going to make my mortgage for me uh, it doesn't happen very often but when it does you definitely want to let people know but yeah you have the opportunity here to go into it and actually pay your mortgage with what income you bring in and before we go to the next one i want to mention mm -hmm. something you mentioned we're talking about buying a mobile home lot, buying 200 acres and two uh -huh. barns, but there's a home for you to live in. Absolutely. On this property. Absolutely. So you can move in and still do everything we were talked about. Exactly. This sounds like one definitely to see. Mm hmm All right, so this one is listed out of the Paintsville office, correct? It is. It's out of the Paintsville office, and that number is 606-789-8119. And when you call that number, feel free to talk to any of the agents in the office about this listing. Okay. Okay. All right, so if you're list interested in that one, give them a call in the Paintsville office. Mm -hmm. Now, let's move back toward Pikeville. This is actually inside the Pikeville city limits, and mm -hmm. it's a brand new listing for you. Yes, this is a brand new listing. This is located off Five Fork, which if you're familiar with uh, town, you're right off Chloe mm -hmm. onto Five Fork. You're actually very close to leaving the city limits, but you're not quite there yet. Um, but this is a great listing and they've listed it at a very smart price. So anybody that wants the city limits, this one offers a little bit of privacy with a great price. This is the house that you need to look at. You're getting the, the feel of the country. Mm -hmm. You're outside. I think you can only see a couple houses from here. I mean, it's, yes. it's, it's very private, but yet you are getting the protection of the Pikeville Police Department and mm -hmm. the Pikeville Fire Department. So you're, you're getting the best of both worlds. Exactly, exactly. And like you said, you, you, have, you do have neighbors, but you don't have neighbors that are right there. You can barely see anybody from the front porch. Your backyard is completely private. It does come with an above ground pool and some decking. So you really have a nice area out there to enjoy the mountain landscape. You know, and, and it says open layout, and that's mm -hmm. something that's very popular too. Yes. To come in and the house gets this bigger feel 
with these open layouts. Absolutely, and you can see in the pictures that um, we shared on this one, it's got a contemporary feel on the exterior. On the interior, it's a very traditional type feeling house. You've got the stone fireplace. I think that's one of the pictures that mm -hmm. is from floor to ceiling in the living room. It goes, you know, the two stories. So it's a really, really nice feature that's open to the dining room. And then they've done a lot of work to the house uh, since they've bought it. So there's, there's a lot of updates that have happened. You know, and everything we're saying, too, to say we're in the city limits of Pikeville on mm -hmm. almost three-quarters of an acre. Mm -hmm. That's a large lot. That is a large lot. And like I said, that allows you to have some of that privacy in the city limits. You're up on a little bit of a hill, which allows for the privacy and then the mm -hmm. lot size as well. So, a wonderful listing, and it's a brand new listing for you. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think this one will last long. I sure hope not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> if you're interested in this one on Fife Fork, which is just off of Main Cloy Road in Pikeville, mm -hmm. give Jennifer a call. The MLS number 106. 087, that's what you need to tell her when you call. And let's give the Pikeville number. Okay, the Pikeville number is 606-437-2333. All right. Now, the next listing is one we've done before, mm -hmm. and I absolutely love this home. If I was ready to move and buy <laughs> and I could afford it, this is where I'd go. Absolutely. This is a great listing, and this is one, if you're looking at the pictures right now, you will fall in love with the pictures. And it's not far from Pikeville, just barely outside the Pikeville city limits. I guess technically Coal Run. Yeah, you're actually in Coal Run. And like I said, the pictures honestly don't do it justice. And I think the pictures are very pretty on it. But you sit on about three and a half acres. Most of that is actually usable yard space. Um, mm -hmm. You have quite a bit of yard space. You've got a very private back deck. Um, that allows you to have some of the privacy in the back. I think that's also one of the pictures. And this is a log style home. So again, it's a very traditional style home that has a lot of amenities to it. So if you're driving north on US 23, mm -hmm. which is if you're leaving the city of Pikeville and you get just outside the city limits, you go under the train trestle. Uh -huh. And this is on the right, just past that, correct? That's correct. It'll be on your right. I think there's a law office maybe in the front and it's mm -hmm. behind the law office. Correct. Correct. And you would never imagine from US 23 when you look up in this area that this much space is up there. Oh, yes. And it's, it's actually, which it's two different listings, or actually three different listings, but there's actually a couple building lots up there that we have listed as well that if you drive up there and this isn't exactly the house for you, well, you can build right across the street. So. There you go. <laughs> and, and I love one of the pictures that you gave us because if you see the one with the yard, mm -hmm. that's your view. Can you yes. imagine every day coming home to that view? And this one is huge. It's a nice big house. You've got 3,700 3, square feet above grade. And then you also have a 1,200 square foot finished basement, which has a family room and room for workout and an office and a kitchenette and a full bathroom down there. So you have a lot of usable space. Adding all that together, I mean, you're looking at almost 5,000 square feet for mm -hmm. this home. Absolutely. And it's got... Like I said, it's a log house, so you have some of those traditional features. It's got the loft that you kind of expect mm -hmm. in a log house, but the loft doesn't count as one of the bedrooms. So you've got a loft that's perfect if you want to do workout equipment, if you want an additional office space, if you just want to have like a den area. So it's got a lot of those rooms that could be multifunctional. Definitely give Jennifer a call on this one. Uh, technically in Coal Run, but so close to Pikeville, it's not even funny. <laughs> uh, 549 is the listing price, so 549000 05994 is the MLS number. And Jennifer, if somebody would rather email you, let's mm -hmm. go to your email address. Okay, the email is jbrown at rbnw.com. Okay. Now, this is another great listing that we're going to talk mm -hmm. about on Hoopwood Branch, which, uh -huh. if you're familiar with the Pikeville area, it's just off the right fork of Island Creek. Correct. Correct. So, again, you're just outside of the city limits of Pikeville. So it's a great location, very convenient. And if you're looking at the pictures of this house, I think we've got all exterior pictures just mm -hmm. so you can kind of get a feel for what is offered with this property. You've got eight acres of property that go with this, which includes a metal garage that's detached that you could put any car you wanted to in and uh, know that it's going to be well taken care of. You've got an in-ground pool. It's got an area for a shooting range. It's got um, a very, very nice size yard. And all of this is, I think, your favorite part, beautifully landscaped. I do. I mean, it's just one of those that looks like it could be in a magazine mm -hmm. that you would pick up at the grocery store line. Um, and it's right here in Pike County. We have a lot of beautiful homes in our area, and this is one of them. 
And this is one of those I bet doesn't come up for sale very often. It doesn't. It doesn't. Especially the, the style of house and the quality plus the acreage. Yeah, it doesn't happen very often. And then we're, we're all talking about the outside of the house. The mm -hmm. inside of the house, over 4,900 square feet. So another home pushing 5,000 square feet. We've got a first floor master. Um, it's got the two-story living room that has a balcony that looks over into mm -hmm. the you know main living room from the second floor. Um, you have a theater room that is complete soundproof. It's got the surround sound. It's got the chairs. It's got all of that kind of stuff that they'll leave with it. Um, and then you've got a third floor that acts as a family room. It's got a secure office space and all of that. So you have a lot of room in this house. It's one of those homes we've talked about so many times that you're at home, but you feel like you're on vacation. Yeah, absolutely. This is that home. Absolutely. And the great thing is not included in those four full baths that are in the house, you actually have a half bath outside for the pool access. So definitely, if, if you're in the market for something in this price range, $599,900 is that one. But for everything you're getting, it's not a bad deal. It's really not. <laughs> not for everything there. On eight acres of property, 105712 is that MLS number. Give Jennifer a call, shoot her an email, mm -hmm. either one, and you'll be able to get that listing schedule. Absolutely, anytime. Okay. Now, the next one is... Something, if you're in the Pikeville area, you're going to be familiar with this listing. Mm -hmm. It's on Town Mountain Road. Go ahead and say it. It's the Old Log Cabin Restaurant. Yes. Yes, this is another brand new listing mm -hmm. uh, that we just got. And I'm really excited about it because this offers so much potential for somebody that wants to start a business in Pikeville. Even though we know it as an older restaurant that's mm -hmm. been in town and it's got so much history you don't have to put a restaurant in this space. This space could do anything that you would need a showroom for. I mean, yes. look at the glass on the front. Yes. And be, you know, your wheels are turning the second you step inside this, this listing. Absolutely. And that's what I've been lucky enough to be able to go through it multiple times. And you really have a lot of potential. If you want to do a restaurant, it's set up for a restaurant. If you don't want to do a restaurant, like you said, a showroom for any kind of business, if you wanted to make office space out of it, it already has some of the rooms that are disconnected. Mm -hmm. You would easily be able to transition it into another type of business as well. You've got about 7,000 square feet of space total. So when you add up all, you know, everything that's included, there definitely is a lot of storage space. You have a lot of open space. You have the kitchen area. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of, like I said, a lot of potential. And then there's parking area in mm -hmm. front of the building too. So that's something that you won't have to worry about because there is parking there. Absolutely, absolutely. And the sellers, I'm not going to say that they're super um, negotiable or anything like that, but they are motivated. They are obviously not running a restaurant out of it currently. Mm -hmm. um, so they are motivated to sell it, and he has the ability to do some of the work on it, which doesn't happen very often. Well, to have an open-minded seller who is, mm -hmm. you know, motivated to sell but willing to work with someone is, is got to be a bonus for you. Oh, a absolutely, absolutely. Definitely makes things a little bit easier. <laughs> okay. Now, I know that you've, your wheels are turning. If, you're, if you have any commercial interest at all, this one should get you, whether you want to open a restaurant or expand or just any other kind of business, this is worth looking at. Absolutely. All right. 106119 is the MLS number, but I guarantee you can just call Jennifer's office and say, I want to look at the old log cabin <laughs> Either one will work. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully your wheels are turning. You've got a lot to think about today, but you've got some things to talk about still in your real estate ministry. With the increasing regulations, the loan process becoming more detailed, and the changes in requirements, preparing a home for an appraisal or to be listed for sale is an important step for any homeowner. It is always a good idea for a homeowner to get a certified home inspection in the beginning so they have an idea of any items which need to be fixed. Also, based upon the home inspection, additional inspections, such as a termite inspection, may be a good idea. Preparing the exterior by trimming and replacing dead bushes and trees is always a good move to confirm a property has good curb appeal. In addition, cleaning out debris from a crawl space, organizing attic storage, making sure all the windows open, and correcting any other similar home concerns will expedite the potential selling process. Ray Brown and Williams Real Estate Services staff are trained to assist owners with preparation ideas for your property. 
Call today and allow Rare Brown Williams to assist you with all your real estate needs.